Hey guys, it's Jailbreak Guest. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to SSH your jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone on a Mac. Now, you do need Wi Fi connection for this. This is not a USB cable SSH, it is Wi Fi. So, pretty much what you guys are going to need is you're going to need to download Cyberduck. Link in the description. You can download it there. Um, and you're also going to need to install. Um, a program off Cydia called OpenSSH. Um, so you're going to go into Cydia or Rock or IC or whatever you use, and you're going to search Open. Oops. Open SSH. Search. No, it's searching. Okay, and it should be like the first one to come up called OpenSSH. You're going to install that if you don't already have it. Since I already have it, I do not need to reinstall it, but for you guys, this is your first time, you're going to need to install it. Okay, once you've installed it, your iPod does need to be connected to the internet right now, and you are going to open up Cyberduck. Okay, now you're going to click on Open Connection. You're going to go over to where it says FTP, File Transfer Protocol, and you're going to change it to SFTP, SSH, File Transfer Protocol. Okay, your server is your IP address that you're connected to with your Wi-Fi. So you're going to go into your settings. Um, you're going to click on your Wi-Fi. Um, and when you see your connection that has a check mark beside it, you're going to click the blue arrow. When this comes up, um, it will display your IP address. You, as you can see, you will be able to see your IP address. You're going to take the IP address that it says down there, and you are going to copy that into the server, where it says server. So I'm just going to type my IP address in right now. There we go. Okay. The default name is root, the username, root, and the default password, if you haven't changed it, is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Sorry, I think I did that wrong. A-L-P-I-N-E. And you're going to leave port 22, just keep it as that, um, and now you're going to press connect. And it will give you something saying this whether you want to allow it, deny it, you're going to click allow. And now you have successfully um, SSH'd your iPod Touch or iPhone. So now to put themes in it, you're going to go up here and you're going to click on the slash. So go up here and click on the slash, just a slash. You're going to go under library. And to put themes in here, to put your themes on your iPod, you're going to go double click on this and it will display that. You just drag it into open space, any theme you have. Now for custom wallpapers, you're going to go into here. Um, just drag it into any open space, same thing as with themes. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So when you guys are ready to disconnect from this, you can just press disconnect and you can close it now. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun SSH and getting all the custom themes. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.